Hey guys, what's up? It's AB to Eric. It is a brand new month. September is here. The fall is about to begin. New games are coming out and the Nintendo Switch is jam packed with a lot of releases. A lot of physical releases, digital releases. September is going to have tons of games. I'm going to hand pick eight of the games that I am personally looking forward to. Now, sure, some of these games might be on other consoles, other platforms. Some might not even be that great. Last month I got a lot of shit for saying I was looking forward to Troll 9. I guess some people didn't really get the point of what the video was. Just disclaiming, I'm not saying these games are going to be all good. These are my top 8 games that I'm looking forward to for the Nintendo Switch. So let's go ahead and begin. Alright, so first off the bat, coming September 7th, more fight. Now, at first impression, this kind of looks like a clone of No Man's Sky and Astroneer and all those kind of games. It's a space exploration game, first person, and it looks neat. I think the art style looks pretty good. It's like real plain, pastel looking colors, and it looks like there's going to be a lot of exploration. The trailer kind of just left it mysterious enough to entice me. This is a game that I'm definitely wanting to check out. I think it could actually be pretty interesting. The whole concept of being alone in a stranded planet and kind of exploring and stuff has always excited me. And More Fight is coming to the Nintendo Switch and that's a game that really hasn't been made for the Switch at all. There's nothing else like it. So, you know, I'm welcoming it with open arms. Next up is Neuro Voider. It looks like it's an RPG type of roguelike game that has a pixel style art scheme supposedly is a twin stick shooter with some rpg elements you play like as a brain that can shoot around like other enemies and stuff it's kind of weird and wacky and the trailer just hyped me up there's a lot of other similar games like this on across all the platforms and it looks like there's tons of robot shooting and all sorts of cool chaos and mayhem i think this might be a good hidden gem on the nintendo switch indie titles like this always entice me this one also is coming across all platforms so it's not exactly an exclusive title but i think it's good that you know they're deciding to develop it for the switch because a lot of times you see developers pass over the nintendo system and this time around some of these indie games are going ahead and developing the thing on there it looks like a perfect pick up and play game in my opinion now this game coming up is a game that i knew nothing about until i saw the trailer for it, Thimbleweed Park. Upon first impression, I think it looks exactly like one of those old school Sierra PC games. Kind of like Maniac Mansion, where it's a point and click type of game. You walk around, there's some weird quirkiness, all sorts of characters, and just a weird, mysterious vibe to it. This one actually kind of looks like it has an X-Files type of thing going on when it comes to the plot. The trailer was actually a big joy to look at, and it caught me off guard. I knew absolutely nothing about this. Again, this is one that is going to be on different platforms as well. But with the Nintendo Switch, it takes its roots back to, you know, the NES days when I was playing Maniac Mansion. The trailer has a lot of characters. It looks like there's going to be a ton of different characters to play as in this game. And it's kind of, kind of like a mystery, you know, solving some kind of thing about Thimbleweed Park. I don't know. It looks like it has an interesting concept. It's like a graphic novel. So... Those are always good. It means it's going to be very plot driven and I guess there's going to be puzzle elements and exploration and all that. So this actually looks like a really neat game in my opinion. Figment is a game that I actually reached out already and talked to developers. When I saw the trailer, I was amazed at just the real whimsical look that I saw. It's kind of like toys, pencils, like a lot of clouds, a lot of fairy tale-ish type of feel with a little bit of where the wild things are and Raggedy Ann and the song in the trailer just made my goosebumps you know stand up it's very well done if you haven't seen the trailer check it out it got me hyped for this game it kind of looks like it's going to have some over the head isometric action RPG type of elements similar to like Legend of Zelda and other games like that where you swing a sword and you know level up and upgrade and stuff and you know 
it looks like it's gonna have a lot of imaginary type of exploration and thing and i think this one is going to be a sleeper hit that you should not miss out on when figment comes out i did not see a definite date but i think it's tentatively scheduled for september but it might be pushed back i'm not entirely sure i didn't see an announced date anywhere but as soon as this comes out you can bet your sweet ass i'm going to be playing it this looks straight up my alley i've, I've always liked these kind of like i guess emotional journeys and games that have like a little bit of fantasy and fairy tale in them and figment definitely looks like it's going to be a game that does just that now the next two games i'm definitely looking forward to because there's not much in way of the sports genre on the switch other than my nba playgrounds and infinite mini golf but those aren't heavy hitter sports games we got nba 2k18 coming out which you know nba 2k games are probably some of the most popular games out there on you know consoles period there's a huge community for that the fact that's coming out on the switch which the trailer i'm showing right now is not switch gameplay uh it remains to be seen exactly how i uh, you know inferior the switch version might be i've heard it's going to be pretty close to the ps4 version with the ps4 being a little bit more overpowered than the switch it remains to be seen but i'm looking forward to having a legitimate nba sports game to play on the nintendo switch and FIFA 2K18, believe it or not, I actually enjoy playing the FIFA games, and FIFA is actually growing pretty big. I would say just as big as Madden and and NBA 2Ks are. It's a pretty big series. I think this is going to attract a lot of fans that have Nintendo Switches to buy it. I think the FIFA version might be specifically made for the Nintendo Switch in mind. Again, don't know if it's going to be inferior to other ones. The gameplay that I have seen seems like it's not too bad. Uh, again, the sole reason why I'm excited for these two games, and I know a lot of other people don't care about sports games, but for me, I think sports games are a necessity for any kind of console, and it's about time that they're coming out on the Switch. The next game is Brawl Out. Now, it's already out on other consoles and platforms, but it's coming over to the Switch, and the reason why I think it's significant is because, obviously, it's inspired by Super Smash Brothers, or at least a clone of it. It looks exactly like the gameplay mechanics of what super smash brothers would be and since super smash brothers is not coming out this year this is gonna have to hold us until it does come out so what better thing to do than to play this now i looked up reviews of it and it looks like it was an average game or so so this is gonna have to quench your thirst if you're smash hungry on the nintendo switch you know hopefully it is a good port and hopefully it develops the trailer looks pretty cool looks like they're gonna be you know collaborating with other companies to have certain characters on this game so that's exciting me pretty good who knows this might be something that actually works out again i couldn't really find a definite date for this i saw september 2017 on a couple of videos and a couple of google searches if it comes out in september i think that's perfect timing if not it might be sometime in the fall don't quote me that it's coming out immediately i just saw that it's tentatively scheduled for this month so who knows the well, next one is a game that i actually enjoyed a lot on the wii u the definitive version is coming to the nintendo switch rayman in my opinion is a very underrated gaming mascot and platforming game there's a lot of content in this game the graphics are beautiful now i'm actually a pretty big dragon ball fan i don't really talk about it too often i'm not into anime but i'll watch anything dragon ball and i'll play anything dragon ball and i was upset that the wii u wasn't strong enough to have the dragon ball xenoverse games and I'm definitely glad that they're bringing over Xenoverse 2 to the Nintendo Switch. It looks like it's going to be, you know, just as good of a port as we previously saw. Hopefully it holds up. Hopefully there's all the features are there and it's not an inferior port. Just like I said with other ports that come, sometimes Nintendo games get a little bit of the short end of the stick. So hopefully it plays just as good as, you know, the other versions. Now, I don't know too much about Xenoverse because I missed out on it, but if it's Dragon Ball... I'm definitely looking forward to it. And last but not least, I'm not a Pokemon fan. I know Pokemon Tournament kind of has been hit or miss as far as how people like it. I know some people that are fighting game fanatics said it was kind of an, you know, a crappy fighting game and some people said it's okay. A Pokemon game is coming to the Nintendo Switch and the reason why I'm looking forward to it is because I didn't play it. I didn't get it on the Wii U and it's coming over to the system that I currently play. GameCube adapter is going to be compatible with it. So that means you could use the GameCube adapter and I'm all for another control mechanic being introduced on the Switch. If the GameCube adapter 
is used for Pokemon Tournament. Maybe it'll be used for Smash Brothers. And, and I'm all for different genres of games being put on here. There's not too much in fighting. We got ARMS, Street Fighter 2, and Pokemon Tournament, and all the Neo Geo titles. So the more different genres that you put in, the better, I think, in my opinion. So yeah, those were my top eight. What do you guys think? Are you excited about any of these games? If I missed one, why don't you comment below? And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next video. Peace out.